You should always accept a certain amount of scholarship when people demand that people give you references. Our people don't know how to study. They didn't even know what bibliography was until the Black Man of the Nile in 1972. When Dr. Ben came out with the Black Man of the Nile, niggas looked in the back of the book and said, what the fuck is all this bibliography? So you, you take things at face value. That's why you had a lot of cult leaders come and give you a whole lot of shit and you find out years later that it ain't true. Because you take things at face value. That's like Dr. Yard telling me that he's from the planet Ritz. Now I got, I, I've studied the damn stars for the last 10 years and I ain't never seen no planet Ritz. Right. And yet this nigga can't get himself out of jail. You know, I'm in New York and I'm teaching and all, and some sister, oh, that's the entity in him. I'm like, well, what motherfucking entity is in that jailhouse? Right. <laughs> And why can't that entity get his ass out of jail? See what I'm saying? So we have to demand more because you got to understand, if I come to you and I give you this particular place and I give you a certain amount of references and books and things that you can study from, I have basically done good by you because once I leave, you have some stuff that you can study and find other references and grow on your own. And it doesn't make you basically uh, 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 tied down or dependent on me right. giving you the particular information. You're a world class people now. This is 2004. Right, That's right. So you don't need no cult leader talking about I am the fucking way when you are the way. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So you should demand now you can't get everything out of a book but if you are consistent on a certain amount of scholarship, you can put people in the areas of learning certain things you understand where I'm coming from? That you can somehow Give a, 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 a cad grade of some stuff that's spiritual that you're going to get from other realms, new incoming knowledge, and a tradition that was set down by our people in the ancient past. But you can't be taking shit on face value and motherfuckers coming before you and they giving you scholarship. You see what I'm saying? Even if you don't read the damn books, you need to know the list of the shit to go, well, I know that a lot of this stuff is coming from a group of books right. and stuff like that. So the next person asks, you can lead that person that can go and do the stuff. You see, and that's the thing of how you write and you true about things. You see what I'm saying? Because it ain't a pimp game no more. People coming before you. Say that again. A pimp game. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> People coming before you with all this type of doggone game. Yeah. I already told you that I quoted shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what it is. I got an eye that keeps running around on my damn stove. <laughs> I'm down on another one eye. It took me fucking four hours to make a goddamn meal because I took it on one fucking eye. Hello? <laughs> Know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to say, if I ain't got no eyes on my stove, and I'm flushing the toilet by pulling the little ball up in the chain in the back, what the fuck you doing with Hawkins following me? I'm flushing the damn toilet manually with my goddamn hands in the back. See what I'm saying? I'm using Ajax antibacterial soap for fucking shampoo. That's some good shit.
is the Shakti energy, the return of Shakti. And what is happening now here is if you're not with that frequency, they're taking your ass out. Yeah. You're vulnerable, so you have to line up the frequency. So all that old male patriarchy bullshit, I'm sorry. You're going to get fucked up with it. Because you can't keep the feminine aspect down. Now, I'm not talking about, uh, I'm talking about something that even the sisters got to rise up and find out what the goddess is. Yeah. Not these niggas just walking around here and get their hair done and saying, you need to respect me because I'm a strong black woman. Not no dumb shit like that. Right. Right. I'm talking about some shit that you don't even know. But I'm talking about that particular spiritual aspect of it. You see what I'm saying? So this is what's going on. And so what's happening here is, is the frequencies have changed, the polarities have changed, and if you're not with that shit and all, they're shutting down all these he-man women hater clubs.